The Bangalore Metro Rail Transport Corporation began trials of its driverless train system, marking a significant milestone in Bengaluru's metro infrastructure. The first set of six train coaches equipped with the advanced communication-based train control system, crucial for autonomous operation, has been received by the BMRCL recently. Scheduled for deployment on the under-construction yellow line, spanning 18.8 km from RV Road to Bumasandra, this line will be the first in the city to feature driverless trains. CBTC technology, as per Indian Railways Handbook, relies on radio communication for precise and timely transfer of train control information, effectively enabling seamless coordination between trains. Jitendra Jha, PMRCL's project manager for Rolling Stock, explained further about the driverless train. This train uh, has to be driven through a single link system. So we have to do elaborate test with single link. And so we, uh, we are planning to start uh, signaling as uh, this uh, static test first. We will do all the static tests with signaling from uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow. We will, we will start this test, a static test. Then in somewhere in April, in first week of April, we will take this train for signaling test in dynamic condition. Dynamic condition, we will do several signaling tests. First, they collect the data. What is I want to explain to you? Basically, when two trains are running on the line, in the normal Indian railway train, you must have heard that collision has taken place. One train standing, other train hit. But in our system, that cannot happen because our system. It is automatic train supervision with signaling system is supervising the train operation. That means one train has to talk to the other train. Always communication should be talking to each other. So if suppose one train is standing on the line and I am in the speed behind the train, then that train will inform to this train, running train, look I am standing. So you have to, you have to apply brake. So in in layman language, I can we can say that our trains, two trains, are always in talking terms, always. So to implement that system, to implement that system, whether these two trains are talking or not, when it is running, then it will take some time. So we have to do elaborate tests, and then we have to. Uh, uh, we have already appointed third party ISA certification. That third party will come and then they will certify yes, these, uh, these signaling tests are okay or not with the train. And then finally, this CMRS test will be there. CMRS will come. But before CMRS comes, we have to get the ISA certification, third party certification. So we will be the, the process will start from you can say day after tomorrow. See, first we will do a static and then we will do dynamic. In the parallel, what we will do, we will do the rolling stock their own test. Rolling stock has got several tests. That I will do in parallel. We cannot do series, that otherwise it will take a lot of time. So that uh, our test is traction and brake test, oscillation trials. Then EMC test, these are parallel we will do. So we will do signaling test, signaling test with train, we will do our test. <laughs> Rolling stock type test we call it, and then we will uh, one of the proceed. So then we will offer mainline testing. Ha, mainline. All are mainline. Because uh, this communication has to be established. Talking of two train is very final, and result is this. The Yellow Line's implementation will incorporate unattended train operations, facilitating complete automation in tasks such as door operations, train movements, and enhanced supervision capability from the operations control center. This prototype will undergo trial runs on the Yellow Line with subsequent reports submitted to the Chief Commissioner of Railway Safety for evaluation. Artificial intelligence will play a pivotal role in ensuring the safety of operations on the new line, employing algorithms to analyze sensor data for anomalies such as track rags or wear and tear. Other features of the train include real-time location tracking, emergency egress devices 
and front and rear view cameras. To ensure safety and reliability, the train must undergo a series of rigorous tests including at least 37 mainline tests over 4 months and 45 days of signalling tests. The yellow line is expected to begin operations by December 2024, promising a significant leap forward in Bengaluru's metro infrastructure. Like, comment and subscribe to Daily Salar Digital for more such updates.